brought into service in the late 26th century, roughly 50 years before the outbreak of the Terran Kilrathi War, the Yorktown class light carrier was a popular but largely outdated vessel that became a crucial part of the Confederation Navy long after its scheduled decommissioning. Following the catastrophic losses suffered by the Confederation in the so-called False Armistice Incident, hundreds of outmoded vessels previously relegated to patrol duties were redeployed to serve as the primary Terran fighting force in the war with the Kilrathi, placing the Yorktown-class carrier at the centre of almost every major engagement. 720 metres in length, with a dry weight of 28,000 tonnes, the Yorktown's frame is simple and utilitarian, built around a single long flight deck open at both ends and designed to refuel, rearm and redeploy strike craft with total efficiency. The Yorktown is only moderately armoured but carries very powerful shields, allowing the vessel to protect both itself and its embarked craft from harm. The carrier is not designed to engage hostile warships but rather to provide a staging ground for strike craft and as such the ship relies entirely upon its battle group and fighter complement when under fire. The Yorktown's weapons complement is geared almost entirely toward anti-fighter defence and consists of 11 dual mount laser turrets spread across the carrier's frame. Should the vessel be forced into combat with a hostile warship with no apparent means of escape, it can employ a single anti-capital missile launcher capable of loading a variety of warheads, but this is considered to be a weapon of last resort and should not be relied upon regularly. The standard strike craft complement of a Yorktown class carrier is made up of 40 ships, normally comprising F-27 Arrow 5 Interceptors, Hellcat 5 Attack Fighters, HF-66 Thunderbolt 7 Heavy Fighters and FA-76 Longbow Torpedo Bombers. Under extraordinary circumstances, some Yorktown-class vessels have also been provided with a small number of F-103 Excalibur Space Superiority Fighters, a ship famed for its near-perfect combat record and advanced stealth capabilities. Easily the most famous example of a Yorktown class carrier is that of the TCS Victory, commanded by Captain William Eisen in the closing years of the Kilrathi War. Enduring months of brutal combat against vessels far superior to itself, the Victory and her fighter wing, commanded by the legendary Colonel Christopher Blair, were able to turn the tide in the Confederation's favour across numerous systems and were ultimately selected to play a crucial role in Admiral Geoffrey Tolwyn's final strategy with which he had hoped to completely destroy the Kilrathi Empire. In 2669, the Victory and her battle group were deployed to escort the newly developed TCS Behemoth, a colossal mobile superweapon intended to destroy the Kilrathi homeworld. But after the Behemoth was destroyed by Kilrathi stealth fighters in an unexpected ambush, the Victory and her crew were forced to quickly improvise a new strategy. The carrier was provided with a prototype weapon known as a Temblor Bomb, designed to exploit the natural seismic instability of the Kilrathi homeworld, and in a near suicidal long range range fighter attack, the Victory's squadrons were able to carry the weapon to their target and destroy the Kilrathi homeworld, though they lost many veteran pilots in the attempt. The incredible accomplishments of the TCS Victory and her fellow Yorktown-class vessels had a powerful effect on the post-war Confederation Navy, inspiring a number of new designs closely based on the Yorktown and its contemporaries. Most notable of these was the Concordia-class fleet carrier, whose design closely follows that of the Yorktown, whilst heavily modernizing its equipment and technologies. Thank you for watching Space Doc. Please remember to like, subscribe and share for more science fiction spacecraft summaries. If you enjoy the channel, why not consider pledging your support on Patreon? For just $1 a month, you'll be able to access the Space Doc schedule to see what's coming up.